Hello everybody, Reaper X1 here again, back playing some more Terra Tech. This time I'm in 0.7.3.5. It's another Canary Unstable build, so only a few, uh, the limited Canary testers have uh, access to this update for now. It will become an unstable build, but that'll be later. Not sure when, I haven't heard, but it's usually not too far off. So keep your eyes open, there'll be a new one. But as I do get started on this episode, which is a little different, I'm back in the R&D as you can see, but this one's for the base, the Speedy Crafting Challenge. I've been working on a few different ideas for it, but before I get into all of them, I would like to thank you for joining me. Welcome. You know, all that good. Because, you know, your support is appreciated and it really does help. Along with all the likes, the comments, the fuel you guys throw it my, into my little channel's tank is amazing you know with the likes the comments the suggestions the feedback the subscriptions that bell dinging i don't know it almost says full tank to me you know you also get notified when i have something new after that dinging of the bell so i think it's pretty good so i'm going to kind of get started in here now what i was going to do is just start building something but i've already built a few ideas here i kind of go over them now I'm kind of going with, uh, I need lots of components. That idea. So I figure if it can work on them all at once, it should work out better. But, who knows? This one, I think it ranked in around a minute to make the one part. And it is set up to make anything, so it should be a good one even after the challenge is over, right? So that was my first attempt. Wasn't, wasn't too bad, it did work. But it could be better. And this was my second attempt. Nope. Very limited changes on that one. That's the first attempt just with a revision. Sorry about that. Okay, so this would actually be my second attempt. Same idea. Five components. It's a little better. But I found that this refinery seems to get ignored. So I kind of abandoned that one fairly quick. It did work though, it just it took longer than I was hoping. Can't remember the time on it. And also part of the challenge says that uh, the time stops when the block hits the floor. So, gotta be careful of that. I don't know if that'll count. Probably gonna need to rebuild. So and from that one, oops, went too far. I got into this one, which is kind of the same. Just different setup on the dongles. Had to mess my dongles around. So a lot of it is just like revisions and stuff like that that need to happen over and over and over and over and over again. See there, that one looks about the same. Oh no, that one might be a little bit different. Let's just check that one out, just be on the safe side. Yeah, see it's a little different. Aha, uh -huh, it's getting better. Got the skew going too now. So can't go wrong with that. Then I can pick up the parts. But then they'd never hit the floor. The clock would never stop. Oh no! Horrible idea. Maybe I shouldn't use that one. Okay, I got one more here, I think. Oop, went too far. Oh, did I go too far still? Wow, I really went too far. It was this one. Take that one. No. Same one again. But it has the filter. Because that made a difference. <laughs> but all in all, these just ain't quite good enough yet. Not what I was aiming for. So I'm trying, what my goal is, is I want to be able to make both blocks at the same dang time in under a minute. That's my goal. If it's possible, I have no flipping clue, but I'm going to find out. So, and I'm also trying to keep it small. So we're going to see how that goes. But I'm going to go and try and do some things, and you'll be seeing it. Alright, well I went and I did a couple things, and this is what I come up with. I got a little bit of a setup here, and this is the rough idea. I sort of gave up on the staying small. <laughs> As you can see, I got a few uh, component factories there. And I'm going to just see how this works. I think this is probably going to be the best bet. Just because the more you can get work done, the less it has to plan ahead. Because I tried with only three component factories, and it did all right so up to a point. It would do the the wheel, but the auto cannon seemed to give it a trouble. 
it would stall out when it had to make the uh, gluon beam, I think is how it's pronounced. It didn't seem to want to kick in some of the lower level components on the factories, so I'd have to do it manually. So I'm not sure. The main challenge is for the wheel. Bonus points for the auto cannon. So I know I can go probably speed up from even what I'm probably going to get here if I focus just on the wheel. And then if I can get the auto cannon in that too, right on. But this, I want to be able to do both, hopefully at the same time. And hopefully fast too. So I got them both set. I'm just going to let her run around and we'll see what it does. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to really make it too much smaller or faster. I was thinking that the components would be able to travel through the silos, but it doesn't seem to want to do that. When they're made and they're needed, they seem to want to stay on the conveyors. So that's one little thing that I learned while experimenting. I've had a few different tries. I've traveled across there. So it lost the need for it, or it got past it, or something, I don't know. But it's making a circle back, and it'll find its way, hopefully, there. Yeah, look at them all kick in, I like that. See, it's working pretty nice like this. I've, I've had a few issues here and there, but I think I got her tuned up where it's working pretty nice now. So I'm just, this is my run, my test run, to see if it's worth a, worth a darn. So there, we got the wheel. Well, that's not too bad. Wish I had a time that. Oh, well, we'll run another one. Because this that might have been slowed down because of everything else. And look at all the extra resources I still got there. I think I may have overloaded. I did go through and try and figure out uh, what exactly was needed. And then I just put a couple extras on it for later testing. And uh, I also tried to figure out if you could scrap blocks to gain resources in their raw form. And I've come to find, I think you can get 8 of the 11. It was like Ignite, Celestite, and uh, Arudite, I think it was. That couldn't quite get them ones. So, too bad we didn't have like a component scrapper or something. Nah, or an unrefiner. So this try, I'm just going to try for the wheel in that base setup. And I got my little dude there. He's looking like he's just, you know, he's, wor he's worked hard. He needs a little break. So we're going to see just the wheel, how long it'll take. So far, I'm not really too keen on how it wants to use the far end there specifically like it would be nice if the ones closest to the start would have picked it up and then you know if it could then pass across the silos to save that trip see that's what I was hoping for but it doesn't really seem to want to do that so therefore this idea may not work so great not for the high speed but it works out pretty nice in general. I haven't tried making any other blocks, but I figure if it can make these ones, it should be able to make anything. It's just a matter of having the right resources. And maybe some defense and some power. But this one I got at 1 minute and 10 seconds. So it's not really that fast. I was shooting for both blocks simultaneously, simultaneously yet that word, to be built. <laughs> I don't know why I can't say that today. But to have that done in under a minute. So that ain't quite cutting it even on the one. So I don't know. My hopes aren't too high for getting that done up in under a minute in this base anyway. Maybe a different base. I'm not sure. I had a couple other bases in that with the or my earlier attempts and I think the one didn't even get shown but it was more of like two bases one input but it split into two sides so it could work on both at the same time which is another idea so yeah I don't know I figure this is going to be a pretty good challenge because I've heard some of the other or I haven't heard them but I've read that some of the other ones have had times of like 30s 
30 some seconds so that's pretty damn good now i figure that's probably just for the wheel so i don't know about the auto cannon they never really asked for like the speed on that it was more of if it can be done within the same base that'd get you bonus points so i figure you know that's a pretty neat little way to step up the challenge Yeah, this one's not going too bad. We're just just making the gun. See, I think the biggest thing is is the time it takes for it to come in, get re refined, and pass through, and then the travel time around. So it looks like if you were to have three fact component factories, it would be able to chug that part out pretty good without any problems. So that's maybe going to be my contest entry idea. It's going to be maybe circled around that. But I am, I'm going to finish this one. I like this little base. It's neat. I took the time to build a little dude on it. So I'm going to put a little extra care for it. <laughs> so that one there turned out to be 1 minute 43 seconds. So that's not that bad, really. 33 seconds difference between the wheel and that. And there's a lot less refining involved in the wheel. So now this time, I think it might be worth trying both. We'll see what it can do. Get over there. We've got a full load on there. We're just going to let it pick right off of there this time. See if that helps any. I doubt it will, but we'll see. Oh, they're all kicking in. Turn it on. That's what I want. Because at one point there was, like I said, it would get so far into the recipe and then it would stop. And I was thinking, oh, what, am I missing a resource? Did I miss count? Or what's going on? And then I'd try to manually craft it and it would craft. I was like, oh. So, yeah, I'm not too sure. I think, but I had less component factories too. And I, I don't know, maybe it got overwhelmed. <laughs> or under under uh, under supplied or whatever they were not given the proper equipment but this one seems to be working pretty good I like this setup it's working along pretty nice if I do say so myself but it isn't the fastest so there is room for improvement, that's for sure, on the time for crafting this. But, I like this one. It was a nice little build. You can always tell when I take an interest. They get that extra little detail. Alright, now we got the wheel. I'm not even going to worry about the time on it, because this is a challenge for the total. The, the pair of them to be complete. But so far, it seems to be... I don't know, it seems pretty quick. Compared to like just the auto cannon. So that's not too shabby at all if I do say so myself once again. No, oh, there we go. Oh, okay. We got that one at 159. So just under two minutes to make both. And now there may be a second or two here difference in the way I timed it. Because I had to wait until I got it into the editor and then cut. The exact moment when it like the resources started to move to the thing off my truck and yeah as I said I, I, I took this one a little extra to oh crap fell over my little dude might have a head injury now at least the sombrero should have saved him but yeah I was in a mood for hats today so I used some hats and some colors I was feeling special so those special blocks, they were just perfect for me today. And yeah, I figured this was probably an easier way to show kind of how it was made than me trying to recreate it. Because it took a while to actually make, to figure it out the first time. But to remake, I don't know, it might still be 20 minutes, half hour. If I remember it. I don't have the best of memories, but it does work sometimes. 
and you wouldn't get any little stuff like this little part of the video either. So it, it's a benefit. But yeah, I did say I'd, I'd put a little extra into it, eh? <laughs> little bit of extra details. That's not too shabby, though. I think it almost looks like a tree. Or a couple of trees. But that's one of my potential entries for... Uh, the build challenge that they got going right now. I'm not sure if it will be. I think I can go f get it faster time. So we'll see. But right around here. I'm going to run this one fully together. But I am going to end the video while I do it. So as always. you know, Thanks for joining me. I hope you had a, a welcoming experience. And that you come back and visit. Come back see what's going on. I always got something going on. And if you did like what you saw, you know, help out and fuel the channel. All you got to do for such an event is to throw a like down below, comments, feedback in general. You know, it's always appreciated. I hope you know that. And also, if you uh, find the time and the will to do so, you could subscribe. Ding the bell, you know, lets me, or lets you know when or I got something new you might be interested in. And as a side note, you know, if you have some cool and original text, you know, there's always the Saturday Showcase, where you can send me your in-game snapshots or your save game, or both, with instructions if they're complicated, you know. Might need help figuring them out. I do. <laughs> I might need help. But you can send them through my link down in the description for the Saturday Showcase auditions. And I'll find your, your uh, snapshots and save games and whatnot there. And I'll make the best dang video out of it I can. And I'll make sure I let you know when, when I post uh, its release on my other thread, The Reaper's Playground. And if you know, there's I got this other little thing I'm starting up too. The Donation Appreciation Program. I don't know, it's kind of a catchy little title, but... Still in the works. But basically what I'm doing is if you can find your way to my little paypal.me link down in the description. Send the $2 as it's set up for. I'll throw your name into a hat. Or somewhat of a hat. And we'll have a draw for uh, a 3D printed tech. And I've got five that are pre-made. And I think they're within the, the range for the first prize. There's going to be about 40 bucks. But I'm thinking you can get the uh, at least in metal. So it's not just a plastic one. And as I've said before, though, the more support that can come in, you know, the bigger, the better the prizes and the giveaways can be because it all goes back into the channel. So anyway, with all that being said, I think this is about a good time to say. Till next time, everybody. Keep being the awesome and keep having a good one. Bye.